All right, this is Chris with Quadricopter here to introduce the Flysight Specman 1 goggles here around my neck. Um, these are integrated dual diversity 5.8 receivers. Uh, it covers the A, B, E, and F bands. So all your major F 5.8 transmitters are covered in those bands. Uh, it has an external power source. Uh, I have a 4S battery in my pocket, uh, but it accepts all the way up from 2 to 6S power. So pretty much any battery that you might have can plug right into this. Um, the field of view on these is roughly about 30, 30 to 35 degrees diagonally. Um, these also a feature a front camera for a picture in picture that you'll be able to see. Uh, which is 100 degrees of uh, diagonal view so that you can not be totally blind while wearing these. You'll still be able to see in front of you with a small little picture um, that you can move around the, the uh, screen as well forever, wherever you want it um, in your field of view. So let's see here. I've got these uh, bound to my Phantom here on uh, 5.8. That Phantom has got an H33D with a GoPro on it. Uh, coupled to the Flysight 2 watt Mamba transmitter. And uh, we're going to take it up for a little flight. You'll be able to see exactly what I see through these goggles and, um, and bring it back in for landing. Oh, I should also mention the inputs underneath here. You have uh, HDMI in, you've got AV in and AV out. Uh, you've got your um, headphone jack right there. This is obviously the power plug-in right here. And then there's also a PPM in, which you can plug into your trainer port on any controller. And you can change various settings in there, like the channel you're on, or toggling the picture in picture on and off as well. All right, I'll take it up for a flight here. These also come with two different style goggles that you can interchange on here for a full immersion. Um, shut out any any external light right now I've got the ones that came in the box on there but the uh, other ones would go over my forehead a little bit as well and they would shed some more light uh, a lot better if you have a, a, a wider or, or smaller um, face so start the copter up here and go up for a flight So we're just kind of hovering above us here. Uh, this is pretty neat that I can still see at the bottom of my screen a picture in picture. So I'm keeping an eye on my copter as if I wasn't wearing the goggles, um, as well as I have my immediate picture that's coming from the GoPro as well. So that's really handy. You don't have to take your goggles on and off for, for taking off or, or landing. You can pretty much just leave them on. So it keeps that extra step of, of taking these on and putting them on and taking them off and all that kind of stuff. Um, range is on par, just with the as the same with the Flysight uh, monitor diversity combo as well. So fly around a little bit and. Oh. <laughs>